Good morning. Well, I'm already after fishing, but I'll tell you what I was doing today. Extra ultra light, mini micro lures for trout fishing. That's the theme of today. Trying new things, always exciting. For trout fishing, I was using extra ultralight, the rod up to two and a half gram, which is crazy. Well, this river is gonna be small. I chose this river because I know there is some big trout, but using small things and uh, light gear, I wanted to go in a smaller river where mainly smaller trout. One thing is, I'm using line from um, my nano jigging, which is wrong. Way too thin, not enough confidence. I need to buy, for this rod, for that type of fishing, maximum 0.4 PE, if that's from YGK. Anyway, for today, Crazy fish, Nano 1, up to 2.5 gram. My lightest reel, very light line, uh, micro lures, small lures, something like this. Enough talking, let's see what's happened. Let's see how it looks. This is a tiny river, and even here, barely visible I can see bottom where it's about that deep mm -hmm. okay let's try We've got stung by nettles already Tiny spinner, just to start with. I had first take. Hmm, promising, and I did cast it right upstream there was no interest from trout but then i turned and i cast it more sideways i got one take but it was such a gentle take yep first fish First fish. Oh, that's grayling. That was unexpected, totally. What a beautiful fish. Wow. Okay, thank you. Wow, bye bye. Grayling, definitely not my aim. I'm just trying to work around all stones like this in front, behind, from sides, then another, and another. These are sort of my main spots. And then again, um, if you see somewhere like by the side, sometimes there is a small drop they can hide. But at the same time, I'm trying everywhere. Oh, it's really cold today. And it's really dark. Okay. 
Okay, what else we can try? Something from my small ones. Don't know how heavy they are, but maybe, maybe it will be good size. What do I have? Zen, Zen or Mino 50 SP Major Craft. On a road it feels okay, so it should be. Oh yeah, definitely good. Don't know how heavy the floor is, but definitely good. To be honest, not very keen how it works. Very little action. Probably need more speed or something. Yeah, need more speed. And in this small colored river, I don't want to use a lot of speed. Oh, Kamachi. Next one, Kamachi F. Forgot brand. This one is good lure, right I know. Let's see. Weight is about right for this rod. And this one is floating, which is good as well for today. Ah, yeah, I can feel this one working. Uh huh, very nice. Yep. <laughs> that that must be trout. Oh. Here you go. Yep, in a net. Thought I'm gonna catch on this one. Oh, unhooked itself. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Bye bye. And as I mentioned, around the uh, trees and roots, and I caught right there. There is a root, there is something in water flowing, and I got it. Yes. And that's the size I'm aiming for. I don't want anything bigger than that. That's perfect. Nice. Yep. Oh no. That's grailing again. I seen it followed, turned around and took another grailing. Hmm. I've been fishing here last year, year before, few times. Never caught grailing. And now second. First was on a spinner and now on this. I hope that's the last one. The last, I mean, grailing. <laughs> Try to take about, I think, three times, and then a third or fourth time, I've seen it took like this. But nothing happened. I had one more take and I seen it took once, then followed my lure. Probably was the biggest trout I seen today. But it's so slow. So careful.
working, maybe group will work. Have no idea can we find them already in the water or not. But let's give it a try. I think it's like one gram jacket. I did first cast, and I'm sure I had a take. Yep, yep, and I got trout. Maybe I found what we want for today. Uh, not a big one. But for this rod perfect size, I would appreciate if that would stay as it is. Fantastic, fantastic trout. Bye bye. Uh, oh, by the way, I think that is the first trout I caught on soft plastic. But really strange in this first spot where I tried this lore is just I had one after another take until trout actually took and after that not even a touch hmm. it just changed into what is it haven't used for years because for another rod so that's too light gunky gunky maybe gamera maybe not i did about 10 casts and i got first take but again just nibbled yep <laughs> oh. Fishing with this rod for trout like this or slightly bigger is fantastic. Yes! Again on this gunky, very small lower. Yep. Uh, I put this group again and I had really nice hit and it, this trout was bigger. Ay, 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 ay. An interesting thing is I tried spinner, I tried minnow type lures, nothing. I seen one small trout followed and that's about it hey look it feels like as soon as i put grub it works for one or two casts and then switch off switch off again yep oh this one slightly better one as soon as it landed very quickly took slightly better I mean but it's in a net and it hooked oh this one is beautiful that's a good size as well yeah fantastic okay Go back. Thank you. And he's off. Yes. It looks like he can catch one with this from AliExpress. How I'm working with it? Hard to say because I'm just learning. So I could be wrong. 
I'm just reeling and I'm trying to present similar speed as flow goes with some small small twitches <laughs> some don't know how far from how I supposed to do but it seems to work sometime Yep. Yep. I just put spinner. Did again maybe five to ten casts. Oh. And I got another trout. Don't know. I don't know guys. What what's catching, what's not. It seems as soon as I catch something. Oh and it hooked itself as soon as I catch on one of or on a lure we stop biting ah, that's nice that's nice um, this spinner ARC 3 P or maybe they mean 3 gram because it feels overpowering this rod so I presume it is more than two and a half gram. <laughs> oh, on this rod, this line is 0 0.25 PE. No chance I would recommend to use line like this because it's way too thin, far away from strong enough. But it's so, so much pleasure. So much pleasure. With this rod and this very thin line, small lures, oh, fight is just unbelievable. As long as you're not hooking into something bigger. Because I, with this line and with this rod, I think I would be in a lot of trouble. Well, rod is okay, but this line is 0 0.25. If that would be at least 0 0.4, I would feel so much more confident. Last year on this one I was using treble hooks, two of them broke off. I put, uh, what is it, S split ring. And first I tried to put single hook, but because of single hook, all over itself was spinning crazy, twisting all my lights. So I had to take off single hook, put back treble and because the way how water works and this hook is holding lure in a place and just this one spins otherwise with single hook everything spins probably that's how it was, this lure was designed to use with treble hook and nothing else you can do about it hmm. minnows are not working today I think these minnows are too small for, for trout. I think they're just thinking, oh, it's, it's such a tiny, tiny fish. And trout will have to use a lot of energy to chase this one. They just can't be bothered. If I would be using bigger, bigger minnows, I bet I would catch more. Because this one, for them, is lazy food, I think. Spinners as well, probably creating a bit more of illusion of a bigger something. For me, this one is one of the most interesting new lures I have. But can't catch anything on this yet. Let's wait for summer for fish to move around more. And maybe it'll be good. Should be good. And again, as soon as I put group, I had one take. And because I missed this take, well, fish missed the hook. 
I'm sure I'm not gonna catch again for a while. So weird. A steep bank for a tiny trout. Yes, fantastic. Thank you. I would like one more trout just before finish day. Yep. Ah, I lost single barbless hooks. Yeah, and it was so nice. I dropped over there in a the current and I let the spoon to work together with a current in an S shape. And I caught trout. Well, I know it works. Everything is good, everything works. Nothing works constantly. Catch one fish on one, another fish on another. But great fun, great fun on extra ultra light catching trout. Just I'll repeat one more time. Need at least slightly thicker line, then would be better. Now it's just ridiculous how thin this line is. That's it for today. I'm hungry, had no breakfast. Started 8 in the morning on 9 and now is 2, 2 o'clock. Quite a few hours. I know there was no big fish, but big fish wasn't my aim to be honest. Uh, that size I caught. It was exactly the size I was after. Well, for my rod and line, I didn't need anything bigger. And I'm happy I didn't caught anything bigger because with this line, I think I would be in big trouble if trout would be like 40 centimeters or close to half meter. No chance. What's worked today, what didn't work? Hard to say, I, I caught on pretty much most of my lures. Happy I caught on soft plastic, on this like grub looking from AliExpress lure. Uh, I had take on spoon, which I put only like much later. And uh, spinners and minnows, everything. Line is too thin. If you want to use, you can use, but I, I, I can't recommend it. It's not powerful enough unless you have very small trout only. I did use slightly heavier things as well, comparing to what trout casting weight is, which is up to two and a half gram. I think this rod three and a half gram, at least with like spoon lures, does really good but you always have to have in your mind that you're overpowering this rod my cast was super gentle so just a small flicks no problem if i would have to fish in big river well wider river uh, i would never dare to cast with full power because these especially these very thin rods, extra ultra light rods, they're very sensitive and it's so easy to break them. So yeah, if you're using lines too light, too thin, or if you're using lures too heavy for a rod, just be careful. I, will, I don't recommend to use anything heavier than two and a half grams. It's all on you. But 
it was fun day it's called tube railing uh called quite a few trout i seen some chasing they were biting very very carefully gently cool it was an amazing day uh, probably i'll do through the summer definitely i'm gonna do some more of extra ultra light fishing for maybe tube trout something like this don't forget guys to subscribe and come back for another videos see ya